Hi, Nick Duffy here from MMG Golf and Nick Duffy Golf. Here to give a quick little talk about progressions of a swing change. So uh, you just get done with a lesson with your local pro or whoever you may be working with, someone online, um, and you're making the changes, but they're not quite clicking. Um, sometimes the, the problem isn't always a change that's being made. Sometimes the issue is actually going through it about the right way. Um, I know personally with some of my students, I've seen them work on something new, come back, it looks exactly the same. They say they practice it, and, and you know that they may have, they may have put a lot of reps in, but they haven't actually been doing a good quality work. Um, so what I tend to like to do is talk a little bit about how you would work through the problem, or how you work through the change. Um, so what I this morning a little bit with this is uh, I like to go through progressions. Um, the first progression I like to do is more of like a static or stop and go type of move. So work a little bit on feeling coming down here, solid, and I'm going to feel like from here I'm going to pump a little bit and turn through. So what I'm trying to work on in my personal swing is keep my hips back a little bit, not early extending, and then rotating more through the shot. Uh, I'm one who tends to keep, leave the face open, stall and dump, if you know, watch my other videos. <laughs> so it's one easy way to kind of know what I'm always working on is, is always going to be like club face coming down, hips staying back and getting open. Um, especially in my downswing to the transition, transition to downswing uh, period in my swing. So I'll go through that, that little mode there. So I'll work first on, once again, the static kind of freezer, stop and go uh, move. From there, my next step in the progression will be slow motion swings. So I'll kind of work on maybe doing the same move, make sure my hips are good at set up in slow motion. I don't care how far the ball goes in any of these drills. <clears throat> the first few, all I'm trying to do is make a good pattern or change my pattern in my hips. Um, I'm not trying to come out here and hit the ball perfect every time. I know it's not realistic, and I know when I'm trying to make a change, you gotta kind of forego the, the outcome goal a little bit more for the internal, a little bit more of the feel. All right, from there, I can start speeding up my drills a little bit, and I'll start actually hitting three-quarter shots, trying to make the change, trying to make the feel, make sure my, my hips are moving properly. And then my last step in the progression would be kind of the fourth one, which is hitting a shot kind of about 80%. I'm not going to start going full on out, and I'm going to start focusing a little bit more on where the ball's going and what type of shot I'm trying to hit. So for me, if I'm out here working on the change I'm talking about, I'm looking to, to the ball to actually be like slight cuts, straight balls, no draws, or pulls. Um, if I'm hitting those shots, I know I'm definitely not doing what I'm trying to do in my, in my game. So if you notice the progression that I made, I started out with little to no focus on the outcome of the shot. Um, obviously, I'd like to hit it solid, but it's not the biggest concern as long as I feel like I'm doing the move I'm trying to make. If you want to video it, to double check it. If you want to put up some barriers to double check what you're doing in your swing, it's an easy way to kind of feel it. So once again, I like to start out low focus on the outcome, more focus on what I'm trying to do in my swing, the change I'm trying to make. And then as I progress into the later stages of my change, I'm actually working on trying to make the ball do what I'm trying to get the ball to do. So for me, once again, it's that little straight shot to a little cut. Um, so I hope this one helps anyone out who's trying to make a swing change. If you have any questions, please uh, get to me in the comments. And uh, good luck on the, on the game.